Good morning to everybody. If you're barely going to be watching this video, I just barely woke up. Um, I had to come on my truck from the, from the other side of the street to this side of the street. Anyway, it's early as fuck. It. it is early as fuck in the morning. Alright, man. Due to some crazy events, last night or whatever, had me, it got me like, Got me really thinking right now, like, got me feeling some type of way. It really, it really, it really truly got me feeling some type of way, like, you know. And it's just gonna go, and look here, and before, and before I get started on this on my channel, I do not disgrace against any race any any sex any however way you might want to go out here rather you want to go the homosexual route or you want to go the straight route or the lesbian route that's your life that's your prerogative i don't discriminate i got to get my respect when it's due it is what it is do what you want to do out here you know i just i just say like it is man especially I'm, especially now that i'm in a position on my platform i'm able to do these things like this i just say like it is all right that's just how the way that i am you know Excuse me if I do come off a little bit hard some damn times, but it is what it is just out of the way I am, you know First off whoever is not skipping no ads on my channel. I really do appreciate it Thank you very much. Thank you very much for helping my algorithm go up I really do appreciate it and all I ask for is it don't cost you a damn dime to give all my videos a thumbs up Or hell if you don't if you dislike the damn video. Thank you very much because I appreciate the I appreciate the feedback and the honesty All right now this video is going to be all over the damn place, so y'all just bear with me. Please, bear with me. I'm going to be all over the place in this video. So just bear with me, alright? Now, look here. It's like this. You know what? And this is very true. And it's go for y'all young niggas, and it go for y'all old niggas out here too. Some of y'all old niggas haven't even hum humbled y'all damn selves. And, and, and it's not out here setting that. Red, it's not it's not out here trying to set that right example like a big homie is supposed to be and not on no gang banging politics or anything like that This is just some real life shit now my whole body's damn near sore right now So just bear with me right now. God damn feel like I woke up on the wrong side of that damn bed <laughs> But anyway What I'm gonna say here, you know what? This goes to anybody out here when you decide to have kids with, with somebody whether you male or you female Oh shit. Your life's gonna change, okay? It's not all about you. It's not all about you no more. That's gone. Your freedom is gone. All the way. Yeah, pretty much your freedom is gone. All the way up to your kids turn 17, 18 years old, pretty much. And you know, and after that, that's their life. And you know what I mean? They gotta do what the hell they gotta do out here. Because look here. And let's go to, to, the, young, to the young homies out here. Once you turn 18 years old, the world is on you now. Nobody gives a shit about you out here. And I'm just telling you from my experiences and from what I've been through is that when you turn 18 years old, the world is on you. It's not all about, you know, you got to you got to you got to go out here and get it pretty much. It is what it is, man. Shit. You know, it's just the truth. You know, nowadays people don't want to tell the truth about how to how the way life is out here. You know, they want to screw you over with some bullshit in your head and everything. Come on now. Nah. Nah, once you turn 18, that's it. Now, as far as how I'm feeling, how what I'm feeling some type of way about is like, first off, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect man. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't think that I'm the baddest motherfucker out here. Nah, none of that shit. You know, I'm pretty much with the old school mentality. It's like if you're gonna say something, back it up. That's just how the way I. That's just how the way I am. Now. Now, I know the things that I've done previously in my past and everything, being an asshole, being fucked up, being selfish and all that, I can admit to that. I can admit to that. I was that way. And that's why I have the right to speak about this because you, when you go through life, you got to grow. It is what it is. You got to learn. You learn and you going to grow and you got to move on. Now, look here. Women can be a pain in the ass. Women can be scandalous sometimes. All right. I get it. 
Man, dealing with, the, dealing with their feelings and their emotions, that shit is a pain in the ass sometimes. Shit. Especially right now that I'm at home full time now. Phew wee. Man, them emotions are motherfucking. But besides the fact of, you know, I'm trying to be a better person now. Now that my second daughter's here, I am trying to be a better person. I am trying to do things in... <sighs> Do things the right way I am on a different path now You know now I'm starting to see things a little bit differently now And I'm trying to really set that example for my kids And also to And also to other young fathers out here Cause it's not that bad Stressful at times but It's not that bad <sighs> Alright <sighs> One thing that I would never fucking do Is be fucked up to my significant other. One thing that I will never do. One thing that I will never do is to try to keep my kids locked down at home and not have a reliable source of transportation to get from point A to point B. I will never do that. Because look here, you do have a lot of guys out here who are stuck up and who are assholes and cocky and think that Laying hands on the female makes you a man and think that being an asshole with being an asshole with their cars makes you makes you a fucking man. Yelling at you you know what, I get it. You're gonna have arguments with the with 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 rather it's your husband or your wife. You go, you're gonna have arguments. It's gonna come with dude, it comes with the relationship. You know, it is what it is. And it goes for us men and it goes for us women. We don't get our way, yeah. I don't know. You agree to disagree. I'm just going to leave it as that. All right. Trying to be all macho in front of everybody. Trying to be all macho and shit in front of your, in front of your wife. Don't make you a man. Uh, look here. Let me say something to all the parents out here. Especially to the ones that got kids that's over 18 years old. Check it out. I'm going to say it like this. If you know that you treated your kids like shit early on when they were kids and growing up and everything. And even after when they turned 18. Expect for your kids not to come back and visit your ass. Expect for your kids not, 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 not to think about your ass on Father's Day or Mother's Day. Expect, expect for your kids not to be around you when it comes to the holiday season. Expect this right now. Just expect for all that to happen. That's why I'm, I'm I'm doing my best as a parent to treat my kids right, to treat my kids all the same, and try to give them both the same things, and not play that favoritism card with my kids. Because a lot of parents out here play that favoritism card, and then that's how families separate and divide. What one of the reasons why? There's a whole lot of reasons why families end up going the other way. Real shit. You know, because look here, I'm going to say it like this, your kids are going to get older, they're going to get over 18, and you think that yelling at them, trying to slap them around, especially to all the fathers out here, your kids are going to get older, your kids are going to get older and test your shit and going to whoop your ass. That's to all the fathers out here that got grown ass kids. Just how the way us as parents won't respect, they won't respect too. It goes both ways. It ain't because oh you this macho ass nigga. You 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 got a house. You got a you got a uh, truck sitting in the driveway. You got all these cars sitting in the driveway. My nigga, let me say it like this, my nigga. These cars, like I said before, when I bought this truck, these cars are materialistic, my nigga. These cars is replaceable right now. Well, as I park this motherfucker, I already, I already tore the rims on there. <laughs> Shit. Boy, I don't even. I, I, I'm sober like a motherfucker, and I be driving. I don't don't drink and drive, but I'm just saying. I still, <clears throat> I still be hitting the curve up in this motherfucker. It don't make a difference. I be hitting the curve up in here. So, it's like when it come down to cars with me, I don't care because one, cars are replaceable. Cars are most things are fixable, especially when it come to wheels and tires. Ah, you're gonna have to spend the money, especially me. I got 24s on this truck. Think about it when I got to replace the tires on this bitch. Four brand new tires. Think about how much I'm looking at. <clears throat> brand new, not used tires. Some brand new tires. Think about how much I'm looking at. Think about how much I'm looking at when it comes to gas in here. Think, think about all this shit. You're going to have to spend money regardless. That plane being cheap and all that shit don't get you no motherfucking way. Being cheap just brings more issues. You're going to have to spend. In order for you to make money, you got to spend money. It is what it is. Scare money don't make no money. 
Scared money don't make no money. Remember that, y'all. Scared money don't make no money. That's why right now I'm doing all this. I'm investing. Literally, I'm barely starting to make all this. I'm barely starting to make this money back little by little. Since I started getting paid off of this YouTube platform stuff. With the monetization and everything. I'm barely getting this money back little by little. Plus, this other source of income that's coming in right now. I'm barely starting to make this money back little by little. I got to at least... Let's be real. Let's be real. Because I bought this truck too. To make content with it. As a matter of fact, I got... I'm going to go shoot a video today with the truck and everything too. Like a full in-depth tour of the truck. With the sound system and everything. It's, it's going to be a long video that's coming up and everything. I got to at least... Generate... At least 10 grand back from all the money. 10 grand plus back from this YouTube platform. Because think about all the money I'm putting into. I paid 4 grand for the truck. I paid... Uh, I paid... I paid like about 600 bucks for this camera. Um, I'm about to get a microphone. I'm about to get some more shit, by the way. So think about all this money. I, I gotta make it back. I gotta make it back. I wanna see if this shit is really gonna happen though. And so far it is. It's little by little. Little by little. The money's coming back. It's coming back. You know, I'm just gonna keep pushing and doing what the hell I gotta do and shit. Like I said, you might wanna do collaborations and shit, man. You, you, you know, like I said before, you gotta build your channel. You gotta build your channel up on your own from the ground up first and get your numbers up on, on your own first because that's what people look at when it comes to collaborations. They look at, you know, how much time you putting in with this shit. Uh, yeah, I didn't drop no videos yesterday or whatever. Because, hell, mentally, I got to take a break sometimes. Shit, shit get overwhelming. But besides the fact, though, let me get back to the subject and everything. <sighs> You know, <clears throat> like I said before, man, to everybody out here, you got to grow, you got to humble yourself, man. You, It's getting out of hand out here. It ain't, it ain't that serious. Like I said, this is all materialistic items. This camera's materialistic. I can replace this camera. Yeah, it's 600 bucks, but it's, it's replaceable if it breaks. Yeah, it's going to break my damn heart. Probably going to have me crying because this is therapy right here. Me talking behind camera to you guys and everything, that's therapy. I just come out here, send the truck, turn on the camera, get to work. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I am my own boss, and you know, and that's just how the way I'm where I'm at right now. And I love this shit. But besides the fact, though, back to the subject and everything, uh, Spencer, you know, um, I don't know what's wrong with these people nowadays. People are just letting what it is. People are letting shit get to their damn head. Because look here, all the stuff that I'm doing right now, I count everything that's that's going on good for me right now, for me and my family right now, I count that shit as blessings. That's how I count it as. And I didn't expect for none of this to happen. How this ended up happening, and how this... Ooh, shit. How this can happen for you out here, you, you gotta be, first of all, you gotta get away, you gotta, uh... Cut out all the negative, all the negativity from your life. You gotta surround yourself around good people, solid people. People that's going to motivate you. People that's going to elevate you from the inside and, you know what I mean, and help and help you go from a bad spirit to a good spirit. Because look here, talking about somebody, you know, judging people, being fucked up, being negative, and, and being, yeah, all those five things I just said right now, not going to get you nowhere. It's not going to bring you blessings. It's not going to bring you good things to your life. It's not. It's not. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. Why do you think my channels is is growing for? Why do you think all these all this stuff, all this stuff is coming back is coming back for? Why do you think? Why? Why? Because I changed his mindset. It's, it's what's in. It's what's up in here that matters the most. You can be fat, skinny, black, brown. Whoever you may be, you could be from the hood, you could be from the suburbs, you could be from anywhere. It all depends on this right here. It all depends on this. It's just your mindset. And that's what took me forever. Because look here, I ain't gonna lie, I'm barely starting to get my life on track. I'm barely starting to get my things, I'm barely starting to get my things together. Yeah, it took me this damn long, but oh well, shit. Oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know, like I said before. I've seen money before, man. Don't even get me started about this shit. I talk about this all the time. I've seen six thousand dollars cash. I've seen ten grand. I've seen fifteen grand. I've seen twenty bands. I've seen forty bands. I've seen this. I've seen this kind of money before. All right. I just didn't do the right things with it. I pretty much fucked it off. 
You already know when you coming up, coming up out of where I'm coming up and shit, coming from where the hell I come from and shit. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with that money? First thing you get, you gonna want to go spend that shit, my nigga. It is what it is. It is what it is. And now that I'm older and everything feels good, doing things the right way. It really does. Doing things the right way and doing things the legit way. It really does feel good. But other than that, y'all, I'm gonna cut it right here. It's already 15 minutes into the video and everything. I'm gonna cut it right here. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and then, and and until then, on the next video, I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all have a good, safe weekend. No drinking and driving, no smoking and driving. To all y'all drunks and and potheads out here, I'm out.